Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Let's Talk Purity podcast with Richard and Brittany Delamora. We're so excited that you guys are here. Mm. Uh, today, we have a very fun conversation. Come on. We're going to be talking about five things that we are walking away from because it is the end of the year. Yes. And so moving into 2024, let's not take 2023 battles mm. into the next year. Mm. Like it is, I mean, every day is a new day, right? Because God's mercies are new every single morning, but there's something about the fresh start of a new year yes. that I think just fires everyone up. So we're going to just leave some things behind um but before we get started with that conversation i just wanted to compliment you love because this sweatshirt looks really good on you hey the new love always it's merch the new Come love on. always ministries hoodies and we also have a crew neck if you're listening on our podcast then you probably don't don't see us obviously but if you're watching on youtube you can see what we mean mm. uh we got some fire new merch if you want to check it out head over to lovealwaysministries.com if you want to know anything about our ministry yep. or to connect with us as well lovealwaysministries.com mm. is the place to do so um okay so 2023 is coming to an end five things that we are leaving behind let's go uh the first thing that we are leaving behind is giving wisdom to people who already made up their mind mm. this is so good because matthew 7 6 it teaches us like don't give what's holy to dogs and don't throw your pearls to pigs yep. um i love that verse because it's so convicting it's like don't waste your time trying to give people valuable wisdom that they don't want to receive anyway. Oh, that's good. It's like there's certain people that want to complain about everything and then when you try to give them your advice, mm -hmm. they don't even run with it. And then you're having another phone call with them and another phone call and another phone call and they're still going through the same thing yeah. because they didn't really want your wisdom. They just wanted to complain yeah. and drain your spirit. So it's okay to set boundaries with those people and say, hey, like I'm not going to be giving Giving you this advice anymore because mm. you don't even take my advice and it's all love but I can't waste my time here because mm. your time is so valuable it's something you'll never get back um, or maybe when you see that somebody has created a mess with their life and you want so badly to help them and you keep advising them and you keep advising them and they don't even do it anyway mm. because hey some people just aren't ready to come out of the mess yet Absolutely. and they want to live in the mess they want to live in the destruction that they're creating because sometimes they just have a trauma bond with their destruction mm. you know and so yeah moving on in 2024 uh one word that god gave me and you always use it is intentionality yeah so just be intentional with Absolutely. your time be intentional with your words and don't throw your pearls to pigs oh that's so good mm -hmm. and just to add on to that uh, it's just a distraction yeah absolutely. and i think i don't know about you love but for 2024 uh I don't want to be distracted. Yes. Like you said, I want to be intentional. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the ways the enemy is going to do that. And I and I feel like there's people out there that they're asking for your wisdom. They're asking like, could you help me? Could you pour into me? But because we have these other distractions who just, like you said, want to complain, um, don't really want to do anything. They just want somebody to comfort them yeah. rather than like helping them. And it's okay to comfort yeah. people. It's totally fine to comfort people, yeah. but um, not at the expense of draining you. Right. And right. I just think that's where we have to be so attentive and we have to learn to test the spirit. Really mm -hmm. just asking ourselves like that question, like, do they really want to improve or are they just trying to stay stuck where they're at? And I just think um, that's just an agenda from the enemy Absolutely. to to not allow us to pour into people who just want to seek our advice, right? And I think sometimes we have, if we're not careful, uh, I think sometimes we do that because maybe there is somebody in our life that like rejects us or we want their validation or we want their improvement so we're like oh let me just focus on giving you know some wisdom to them and some advice and being there for them because i haven't won them yeah. so you think winning them is by pouring into them mm -hmm. but little did you know that while you're pouring into them like you're being deflated in your spirit like you're not uh being reciprocated with that energy or that life and they become those words become wasteful mm -hmm. words all because you are not intentional mm -hmm. with who you were pouring into. Yeah. So, man, this has to be the year that we just are like, you know what? I love you. I'll pray for you, but I got to yeah. move on from you. Yes, absolutely. Yep. That's so good. The second thing that we are walking away from are uh, battles that aren't that we aren't called to. Mm. 
This is so good because uh, when I read through the Old Testament, um, especially like in 2 Samuel 5, 19, for example, uh, and you see this often mm. throughout the, the Bible that David inquires of the Lord before he goes into a battle. Yep. Like before a battle happens, he prays, Always. God, do you want me to go to this battle? No? Okay, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Or God, do you want me to fight this battle? Yes? Okay, you're going to give me victory? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. And sometimes like everything that comes into our life, we feel like we need to take control mm. and we need to fight this battle. We need to make sure that everything's okay. Yeah. And we need to create peace in the storm that's happening or whatever it may be. But the reality is, is that we're not called to every yeah. single battle. Yeah. Like some battles, the Lord says, hey, there's a storm. Just surrender. Yeah. Just surrender and be like Jesus on the boat. Like you could just be sleeping in the middle of the storm Absolutely. and you don't have to go and try to fight this battle. I think what's so big is that oftentimes we actually think that we can actually control things. Like mm. subconsciously we think, oh, That's I got good. this. It's this very subconscious thing. Like, really oh, I good. can fix it. I got this. But did you actually pray and did you actually ask the Lord if you're supposed to be fighting that yes. battle? You know, or maybe it's somebody else's battle entirely. And because you're a fixer and you love people, you yeah. want to go in and fix their mess. But in doing so, what you're doing is enabling, mm. you're enabling them yeah. and you are fixing a mess that maybe God is trying yeah. to teach somebody else valuable lessons through. So not every battle is yours. Make sure that in 2024, you are confident in prayer and uh, seek the Lord yep. and ask him if you're supposed to be fighting those battles. That's so good that you're saying that love because, you know, there's so many times we're all like intercede or like you know try to help out a situation and then i'll pray like this prayer like god like move in their life like move like help them and i feel like god's like will tell me like man i want to move in their life but i need to first remove you out of their life because wow. you're trying to play god you're trying to be lord over this situation That's and you don't allow me to do my work it's mm -hmm. almost like if we're driving somewhere and we're like god lead me and god's like yeah get off the steering wheel because I can't lead you because you're, you're the ones that's like taking control. Yeah. And I just think it's so imperative in this next year that, you know, we're just so mindful of the things that we're getting involved in. Mm -hmm. And um, like you, know, you said it best, um, you know, we can be enablers. It's mm -hmm. like, like, like we want God to grow somebody or we want God to grow, grow. Yeah. Grow somebody yet. Yeah. Here we are trying to enable them or, or let me coddle them and let me, let me help them. Mm -hmm. But it's like, if you're always helping them, like, how are they going to able how are they going to be able to grow and if you're always helping them how is the lord going to be able to help them in that situation yeah. so i just think like you said babe this is so important because like again this is a distraction mm -hmm. because the battle you're fi you're the battle you're fighting it the battle you're fighting that you should not be fighting is not going to give you the strength for the battle that you need to face. Yeah, that's so good. So, so here's what happens is like we waste strength mm, for this good. battle. Mm -hmm. But when the real battle comes that we're supposed to be in, we're tired. We're weary. Mm -hmm. We're run down. Mm -hmm. Why are you tired, wearied, and run down? Because you're fighting a battle that you were never supposed to be yeah. in. And that's the trick of the enemy. Let me get you in all of these battles because when it's <laughs> your time, you won't have the strength for your own battle. Yeah. Oh man, wow. I just feel like that's a word that, right that's there. A word. So like we Ooh. we got it. We got to just be very careful of that yeah. because I truly believe in 2024 God is going to do some amazing things. Yeah. Like breakthrough is going to happen. I really believe that God is literally going to lift the lid off things next Amen. year. I see things being accelerated. I see God moving things around. People being in rooms that they would never think that mm. they would be in. But if Ooh. you're not careful, you will enter into the room weak wearied mm. and discombobulated yeah. all because you didn't get your spirit ready that's so good because the you prophet is speaking yeah because it. you because you wasted time yeah. in a battle that you were never supposed to be in that's so, so good. i just think we got to be very careful for I that i felt that when you yeah. were speaking that word i got like chills all yeah. over my body that was a good word okay why don't you tell us the third thing that we're gonna okay third thing from. that we're gonna walk away from y'all is this number three says anything that produces impurities mm -hmm. this is good so basically what this means is well what this means to me is like if you're following somebody on social media and it's creating impurity if it's creating jealousy if it's creating the comparison spirit if you're feeling bitter okay 
remove that person. Or yeah. maybe if it's somebody that's, I don't know, like a friend or family member that you can't, you know, God's working with you right now and your identity. Hey, put them on like on mute or something. Yeah. Because if that's going to create impurities in your life, like, like it's not worth yeah, it. it's not worth it. You got to remove it. Or yeah. maybe it's somebody you're following on social media and they're causing you to become lustful. Mm-hmm. And every time you watch this like person or you're following this account, it's creating that impurity and then here you are wanting to watch porn or or your mind starts drifting that way hey that's an impurity we need to cut it off i I love what it says in matthew 5 30 if your right hand causes you to sin cut it off okay so we're not saying that's very yeah we're not saying for you to cut off your hand but i think i I, I, need stitches no 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 for sure (laughs) I, i love this though because if if it's causing you to sin like if if what you're attached to, connected to, even the people that you're around, if it's causing you to sin, if it's not causing you to be closer to God, then you need to cut it out of your life. Yeah. Like, like this has to be the year that you stop like uh, intertwining with things that have no business to being in your life. Right. These are the little foxes that spoil the vine. And mm-hmm. you and I were talking about the little foxes the other day. Yeah. It says the little foxes spoil the vine. The vine is who? Jesus. Jesus. So what does the little foxes do? The little foxes aim at the Christ like in you. Aim at the yeah. your your your, your uh, It aims at you little by little, little by little. Why? So you could be so distant from the vine. So now these little foxes are getting like the best of you. Now you're so in your flesh. Now you're going to start operating in impurities. Why? Because the little foxes attack the vine in your life. Mm -hmm. That is why we have to be so careful, y'all, for the things that we look at. One of our favorite verses that we always mention is Psalm 101. I think think it's Psalm 101.3. God, like, help me god so i don't set my eyes like on worthless things right yes. and it's like gosh if it's a worth a worthless thing is anything y'all that causes you to sin right. if it's something that is affecting your purity get it out of your life yes. i don't care yes. if it's a movie i don't care if it's a person mm-hmm. i don't care if it's a friend why because none of these things are worth compromising your relationship with christ that is so good yeah i could totally attest to that that's a that's a whole word yeah but- for the sake of time, I'm gonna. I was actually just thinking, I'm gonna record a whole other video. Ah. <laughs> um, okay, so the fourth thing that we are gonna walk away from: uh, things that don't require faith. Mm. Wow. Well, I know this was a point that was heavy on your yep. heart, but I, I love it. Go ahead, um, talk because about it. Because it's like we have this relationship with the Master mm. and Creator of the universe, the very God who spoke life into yes. existence. The very God that created man out of the dirt and woman mm. out of the rib of a man. And yet we don't sometimes tap into yeah, that. absolutely. Like the very God that when when Paul, I, I mean, just walked by people, they were healed by his handkerchief yep. presence alone. It's like the very Jesus, you touch him and the woman with the issue of blood is made well. Like Boom. there's so many miracle signs and wonders that we read about yep. in the Bible, which is the living word that's still alive mm. today. And are we tapping into that faith? Yes. You know what's incredible? You said that the faith is that my word for next year is faith and love mm. because that's one area I want to tap into into i have prayed over people in the past and seen people that should have died be made well and i want to walk in that again because somewhere down the line i'm not and so the reality is it's like man if you are just doing everything in your own strength like yeah i'm growing this business in my own strength i'm growing my ministry in my own strength you know but like you're not tapping into miracle signs and wonders then you're missing the mark come on we need to be able to pray pray bold prayers yes. and we need to walk in faith because the Bible teaches us that without faith, it's impossible that, to please that, that God. That is so good. You know, last year, God gave me some good revelation. He said, how you see me is how you'll seek me. Mm-hmm. If you see me small, then you're going to seek me small. Mm-hmm. But if you see me big, then you will seek me big. And I don't know about you guys, but next year, I want to be the type of guy who has radical faith, who 
literally steps out of the boat when Jesus says step out because the Bible says that it is impossible to please God without faith. So So I'm wondering, friends, I'm wondering, family, what is that thing that God is calling you to do that you think it is impossible? Because our God masters in the impossible and there is no obstacle that you cannot conquer when God is on your side. And that's why like my word for next year is like radical faith. Because that's what I want. I want to have radical faith where I just where I just step out and and I allow God to come in and partner with me. Because too many times, love, like even for me, I'll play it safe, but playing it safe leaves no room for faith. Right. And that's where we need to just ask God, like God, like like let's do something courageous. Let's do something out of the norm. And and um, yeah, I really feel that so good. And the fifth thing we're gonna walk away from is we're gonna walk away from our past. You know, maybe in this 2023 year, you made some mistakes. Maybe you fell short. And I don't know if you're like me, but oftentimes when I fall short, I am so quick to like reiterate every single mistake that I made. But you friends, the Bible teaches us that there is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. So the only one that tries to condemn us is the enemy. And I want to tell you right now, if you have fallen short, if you have made a mistake, repent let it go and let's move forward. You know why? Because in this 2024 year, God has so many amazing things that are before us, but what could hinder all that God has for us is our past. What could hinder all that God has for us is the mistakes that we made. And what do I mean by that? Because sometimes if we're not careful, our mistakes can paralyze us from stepping into our future. So I want to encourage you today, if there is anything that you need to let go of, even right now, maybe you haven't repented. Maybe there's something that that you know you fell short in. Maybe you're watching pornography or maybe it's somebody that you know you're holding a grudge to that you need to forgive them. I want to tell you that the Bible says in Ephesians uh, Ephesians 4.31 to let it go. Let it go of bitterness, rage, malice. If there's anything, guys, that is hindering you from stepping into the new with a clear heart, then I want to encourage you today to let that go. Don't hold on to things that are going to hold, uh, hold you up from stepping into all that God has for you. So if that's you here today, you know what? I want to pray for you and I want I want to I want to believe that God is going to move in your life so much that you know what you don't even have time to look at the past because God has been so, is going to be so good for you in the future which he is right because God is grace is so sufficient. So why don't we say a word of prayer before we close this podcast? Father, we just thank you, Lord, for all that you've done in 2023. God, we know that um, losses aren't losses, they're lessons. So whatever we lost this year, I pray that we would reap the wisdom of that lesson, God. And I just want to say thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing in us and through us. And God, please forgive us of our sins. Please forgive us of our shortcomings. If there's anything in our heart that we need to let go of, God, we let it go to you, God. We no longer want our past or mistakes or just our shortcomings to get the best of us, God. And I pray that you would renew our minds, Heavenly Father, and you would renew our strength, God. So God, we just want to say thank you for all that you've done this year and all that you're going to continue to do in our next year. We pray that next year would be an incredible year. And we just thank you, Lord, for all the things you're going to do in and through our lives. And we ask this, God, in your name, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray. Amen. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in right here on the Let's Talk Purity podcast. And if you guys could, if you're watching right here on YouTube, make sure you press the like button, press subscribe. And maybe you're asking yourself like, man, how can I support this ministry? Go to lovealwaysministries.com and you can support us either financially or maybe you want to pick up a merch item that helps us bless our ministry. Or, you know, maybe you just uh, need help and we're here. Um, Email us. We would love to connect with you. Also, guys, we start connect groups it's an online community that helps grow each other's faith go to lovealwaysministry.com slash connect groups and they will give you so much more info about that so once again you guys thank you so much for tuning in and i pray this video blessed you god bless you let's be honest friends life is hard and it's a whole lot harder when you are doing life alone this is the reason why my wife and i created the meetup where we get connected and we stay accountable. 
We're so excited for you guys to join us because throughout the years, my husband and I have heard from people that they are ashamed to open up about their struggles, whether it be to porn or addiction or finding freedom or just how to pursue a pure heart. Yep. And, and they're afraid to open up to their leaders, their pastors and so forth because they're battling with shame. And so that's why God birthed the meetup on our hearts because this is an online community where everybody's going through something. And this is a place where you can get connected and stay accountable. My husband is going to teach the men every month. I'm going to teach the women along with other leading experts in the fields of the topics of identity, porn, purity, and so forth. Um, and it's just going to be a really great place where you guys can come, you can learn, grow in the Word of God. We're also going to have a text thread where you can hop on and text your fellow brothers or sisters in the Lord. You're, you can ask for prayer requests. You can share praise reports. Um, and this is where the accountability happens. So we want to invite you to join the meetup by filling out the intake form below. We're so excited to connect with you. God bless you.